Hey y'all, welcome to Lions Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I will be doing the daily tarot for all signs and that is every sign in the zodiac from March 30th, 2024. Now y'all keep in mind, okay? Timing is fluid. So if it fails to resonate with you for the 30th, it still, it still may resonate in the future. And y'all already know I am a big believer in everything happening for a reason. So, if you are listening to this and watching this, it could be something you need to hear. Keep your heart open and your mind open too. Starting to work with the work your life for the best. Thank you, students, angels, ancestors. A set of things. What do we need to hear? March 30th, 2024. I'm bound flipped over, but it was still in the deck. So, I just flipped it back over. If it jumps out, that's when we take it. Menticon, it's transformation card. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Menticon. All right, Angel Answers Oracle Deck. Thank you, Spirit Guys, Angels, Ancestors, is that a sun and moon? <laughs> well, you know what? Yes, it just, it, it wanted to, it was about to fall to the ground. Yes, yes, yes. And that was there last night, too, for this reading for today. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and Set, Assume, Moon, Rock. We got another jumper. Connect with animals. Oh my gosh, and I'm helping at the zoo. It's some animals that need to connect with me. I've been connected with some, too. Look at that. Connect with animals. OMG, I'm unable to make this up. You got to connect with animals too. We're all connected. Once you realize that, whew, you will start to live so much more free. Thank you, spirit guides, angels. What else do we need to hear? This is the spirit and nature oracle today. Green man's wisdom. What green man's wisdom do we need to hear for March 30th, 2024? Thank you, spirit guides. What else do we want us to hear? Birch, birch, birch. <laughs> okay, then now let's get this affirmative chill deck going. Thank you, spirit guys. What else do we need to hear for March 30th? Hope you guys had an amazing day today. Thank you, spirit guys, angels. What else do we need to hear? What else do we need? Oh. Well, we got, y'all, we got three jumpers in a row. So we're just going to take those. The Hangman, Major Arcana, number 12, which breaks to a three. And it's okay to be stuck sometimes. Oh, then we got Death because when things come to an end, you will be unstuck. And you will see clearly what path you need to take. Because once you realize that, you will be cheering and having a good time and high-fiving all your people with the three of pentacles okay let's just get into this reading Menticon. Menticon. uh-oh y'all here it is underneath my angel or answers book Menticon is a transmission card and that's 116 which is an eight Menticons are a soul group who originated on a planet in the constellation Orion. They were the first star beings to travel to Earth and believed to be the original light workers. The Menticons' home planet is thought to have been a water world with water so pure that you could see through it for miles. For this reason, Menticons feel most at peace and at home when in or around crystal clear water. They are here to teach us to see potential in everything and the light in all beings. Many Menticons have an odd longing for home and struggle with feeling like they don't belong. It is thought that this is due to their home planet no longer being in existence. If you pull this card, it can mean that you are a Menticon or are longing for a sense of belonging and root chakra healing is necessary for you to feel secure and safe. Perhaps you feel this longing to find home without knowing where that is. Perhaps you've been moving around a lot and yearning for a place on earth to call your own. If so, you are being called to connect with Mother Earth and create it for yourself now. 
to choose where you feel most at home and create it rather than want, waiting for the feeling of belonging to come. All right, the transmission. I allow myself to be truly here and at home on this planet. I release any grief around not belonging or feeling held and called in the perfect home now. And then we just got a straight up yes, okay? And it's just yes, 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 yes. And what you're asking about will soon happen. So the answer to your question is yes. And if you want more detailed inquiry about it, ask additional questions. And so the last thing we need is more additional questions because you already know the answer to it is yes. You just self-doubt, right? Because you're stuck right now. But connect with animals. That probably will help you get unstuck. You may have a past dog or someone you need to connect to that's here or on the other side. Or just go to the zoo, right? Because that's where I'm at now. Go to the zoo. The Sami of the Nordic countries were originally nomads. During the summer, they lived in teepee-like tents known as katas, which could easily be moved as they traveled with their animals. In the winter, sturdier peat huts kept them warm. The Sami originally hunted wild reindeer for food and raw materials, but over time learned how to tame, manage, and keep them in herds. Domesticated reindeer were used for milking, transportation, and to attract wild reindeer when they were hunting. Family groups called Sida shared resources. This fishing families, the fishing families lived in more permanent communities, whereas the Sami who lived off the land hunting and breeding reindeer usually lived a more nomadic life. Between winter grazing in the forests and summer pastures high in the mountains, they travel hundreds of miles with their tame reindeer. Many of these traditions continue in new generations of Semi in Finland, Norway, Sweden, and Russia. The ancestors speak. You have a natural connection with animals. They are drawn to your energy and trust you. You have a gift for communicating with all all, with and healing all kinds of animals, including fish and birds. You may have been thinking about working with animals, adopting a rescue animal, volunteering at an animal shelter, or looking after injured wildlife. If you already work with animals or have pets of your own, this card is confirmation that you are on the right track. Keep up the great work you are doing with animals. The Divinatory Meeting this card may bring a message from a beloved pet that has passed away. Try to see or sense your beloved pet. You may feel heat or tingling on your body or feel your pet's presence around you. Your pet wants you to know it is happy, that it loves you very much and is still around you and your family. This may also be a sign that your animal spirit guides are trying to get in touch with you. Pay attention to any animals you are drawn to or keep appearing for you as this may be a clue to who your animal spirit God is. Your animal spirit God will always be with you. It will give you physical warnings like an animal instinct. When you need to pay attention or be alert, try to connect with your animal spirit God today. Yes, okay. And then we got Birch, baby Birch. Come on, Birch, where you at? Oh, the first one, 36. All right, the Green Man's Wisdom. A good beginning leads to a good conclusion. Beginnings are always important as are the ways we approach any new task. Good preparation and a willingness to lay the ground on which we build are every bit as valuable as the eventual outcome. The Green Man's Wisdom here is specific. Make a good start and whatever you are undertaking will end well. This means paying attention to the moment of inspiration, which the Celts called Awen, and following this to a satisfactory conclusion. Traditionally, birch was used to drive out evil spirits and return to sanity those who had become mad. Its calendrical association is with the beginnings of the year and with the sacred festival of Samayam, November 1st. Hence its connection with making a fresh start. The birch is also known as one of the first trees to flower in the spring. The presence of this card in a reading indicates the need to rethink and to make the beginning of any new enterprise a clean and fresh one. All right. And then we got Major Arcana Hanged Man. And that's number 13, or excuse me, 12. 
Hmm. Sources say you're at an impasse in some area of your life. Kind of like reaching a dead end in a maze. The best course of action, inaction. In other words, try not to keep walking into the same wall over and over again because, ouch. Surrender, turn around, and try a different path. This is the gift of the hangman's upendedness, a completely fresh perspective. If you felt stuck or stagnant, the key might be to look at things with brand new baby dinosaur eyes. Once you do, you'll soon be skipping through life's never ending maze again. Fun, right? Right? Here's the affirmation. I free myself of ego and admit there's got to be a better way. Don't know what it is yet, but I bet I will when I find it because, well, things will work. Okay, because some things have to fall so you can rebuild. Towers number 16 in Major Arcana. Like the lightning struck tower in this card, your life is about to go undergo a sudden and potentially radical change. But before you rush out and buy lightning insurance, know that this change, however radical it may be, is actually much needed. It's never pleasant to watch your ivory towers crumble around you, but once they do, you can start living a life that is destined to be richer, fuller, and a lot more radical than ever before. Anyone know of a modest two bedroom ranch for sale? Here's the affirmation. I accept whatever changes come my way, even the shitty ones. You can't grow roses without some fertilizer, right? Right, guys? And then we got the three of pentacles, baby. While you're hard at work on a goal, dream, or shoot for the moon scheme, this car is standing on the sidelines and saying, keep at it, and you can do it. And come on, ref. Are you blind? <laughs> Wait a minute. Strike the last one. This spiritual cheerleader is a sure sign of encouragement. Whatever you're working on or wishing for, stick with it. With patience, persistence, and possibly some friends who can be bribed for their assistance, you will achieve exactly what you set out to do. Here's the affirmation. I am a go-getting god or goddess, and I won't stop till I get it. Got it? Come on now. It is time to start over. That's what these cards are telling me. You're longing for home. Home is within you. Wherever you are is home. And once you connect with that, you are able to see it. And when you can start from the beginning and build Everything will lay down exactly how you want it to be in that foundation. Because sometimes, like the birch is saying, when you start over, you've got to make sure that you rethink your exact steps and you're doing it to ensure it will take you where you need to be. Because sometimes things have to crumble. Sometimes your ivory towers have to fall down. So when you rebuild them off of a clean and honest structure, it will stand tall and it will never waver and never fall. And sometimes we have to be stuck in the moment to see exactly where we need to be, to, to see clearly. And so that is what the spirit is telling you is don't stop what you're doing because you're stuck. See it from a clear mind and a new perspective. Allow the way that you are thinking about it and holding on to it fall away and it will be so good to you. So get out and connect with animals, connect with nature and see how it makes you feel. I am telling you, it will definitely boost your day and it will help clear your mind and you will start to see exactly what path you need to take for you to get you where you know you want to be. Because you are the only one. And you got this. Okay? You can do it. You God or goddess. You can do this. But you have got to believe you can do it. So I'm sending you believing energy. To believe in yourself. Because I know you got this. I'm with you. Because I know I got it too. Alright? Thank you guys so much for coming to Lions and Tarot. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. It's Lions underscore Den underscore Tarot. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. It's Camilla and the Lions Den. If you want a personal reading, the information to contact me is below. You guys, you can do this. You God or goddess.